trying to find the occasion of the line, but this time we're just going to use the alliteration of the line, and we want to use um, the algebra, because algebra shows that we can have a very good five fix and have the median as a point, and figure out what the equation of this line is. So our first example here, we are given the slope and the point on the line. And again, we find the equation of the line that has the slope one half and passes through the point one half. And the way you want to approach these questions is conceptually as follows. Number one, always start with the general form of the equation. And we know that our equation is always going to be y equals mx plus y. And then, step two, okay, look at what we're given in the question. Well, we know that in order to have this equation, we need to figure out what m and d are. Are we given either of these things in the question? Well, we're, we're told that this thing has a slope of one half. So if we know what m is, we can put that in right away. We can say sub in our value for m. Let's say give us m plus sub it in. So now our equation is y equals one half. Given in the question. Well, we're given this point 1, 5. And the important information that comes from this point is that what we have in this point is we have a value for x and we have a value for y. And we have an x and y that appear in our equation. So we can sub our value for x and our value for y into this equation. have our slope, one half. We'll sub in x here, we'll put brackets around it, so we'll say our x value is one. Okay. So now we've got five equals one half, one plus e. This gives us a little equation that we want to solve for e. And that's the last step. Our common denominator here is going to be 2, so we have to rewrite 5 as 10 over 2. So our b is going to be 10 over 2 minus 1 over 2, which is just 9 over 2. And then finally, we put it all together. We know y is the slope, and we knew our slope from the beginning, 1 half. Thank you. 
is, well, reminder, general form. This is always our starting point here. We go, we're going to start with y equals mx plus, perhaps we want to end up with it at the end, the sum of x. Our first step last time was to sum in the slope. But I don't give us the slope. So we want to, instead of summing in the slope, we need to find the slope. How do we find the slope if we've got two slopes? Well, we know that our slope is going to be y2 minus y1 plus 2 minus x1. We can use these two points as x1, y1, x2, and y3. So our slope is going to be, let's see, our y2 value is 3, so we're going to have 3 minus 2 on top. x2 is 6, so we're going to have 6 minus 3 on the bottom. 3 minus 2 is 1. 6 minus 3 is 3. So our slope is going to be 1 third. So we found our slope. And I'll say and plug it in. So once we've got it, we want to say, okay, I know what my slope is. Let's put it into our formula. 1 third x plus 3. We can choose a y and an x from um, the points that we're given. So, step three. Plug in x and y. And it doesn't matter which point you choose to sub in. So, I'm going to choose to sub in, let's say, 3, 2, 1. So, I'm going to sub in 3 for y. I'm going to sub in 3 for x, and then I'm going to solve for b. So, <coughs> 1 third times 3 is just going to give me, let's see, 3 over 3, which is just going to be 1, plus b, and then I need to subtract 1 from both sides. So I'm going to get 1 equals b. And finally, I just put it all together. y equals, my slope is 1 third. 